Now, uh, by my reckoning, Musselburgh's in the East Coast. Is that right, Willie? That's what Sam up in Edinburgh, pal. That's Sam. Eh? Well, that's Sam, did you say? I'm in Edinburgh. Oh, you're in Edinburgh. Congratulations. Aye. Are you enjoying it? Oh, I definitely do. It's a good city. How are you finding it with the electric light and everything? Oh, aye. I just want to take you to task. You were talking to uh, Dominic Diamond earlier tonight, with, and you were saying about the S&P joining the Tories. Yes, I'm just going to be talking about that later tonight. Ah, uh, well, that's the biggest loaded torch I've ever heard. Why, why is that? Because Scott, the... Because yeah. we were Republicans. We want our Republicans... No, 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 don't be silly. Listen, let me put you in the picture here, Willie, right? right what, let me put you in the picture. What your problem is, the SNP are a minority party, but no, they've... No, but just listen, don't argue with me. Just listen, and yeah. then you can come back with your point, right? The, S the SNP have one power, right? But they don't have a majority. They're a minority party. So don't know they're not. That's a fact, OK? Now, the thing is... The Labour aren't going to help them, and neither are the Lib Dems, OK? Because they don't like them. So, the only party that's going to help them to get something through is the Tories. Now, uh, there was a half-witted idiot saying he didn't think the Tories would get in quickly in Scotland again, right? Now, I think what we need to do is say, well, look, let's have one party, which is the Scottish National Conservative Party, obviously under the Crown, but you have devolved power, but conservative nationalism. No, well, we've already got devolved power, Scotty. We've no, got no, 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 you haven't, you see. Well, you've you got, know, well, you've got some things are devolved, but very much, is very much still a country run from Westminster. Uh, well, I've given you, your, you know, room to say what you've got to say. Yeah, well, you, say, you say your bit now, Willie, and see how it compares with my wisdom. But I kick off. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'll be quite happy with our... And I'll tell you, the way things are going now in Scotland, the people are sick of Labour because you're a sleaze and thieving. Yes, good. The Tories, we were wiped out before. The Tories yeah, are but all... only before they're coming back. And remember, the Tories yeah, are going to be the main party in power shortly. Scotty, Scotty, can I say something to you, my friend? Of course you can, my friend. The Tories will never get back into power in no, Scotland. No, that's your, that's your wishful thinking. The Tories will come flying back. The only reason the because they're very, in, very popular in well, Scotland. Listen, the only reason the Tories got in is because on a, how can I say, they had, to, they had some Tories there They felt sympathy for, sympathy for the Tory party, that's all. Yeah, the, but the, that, that'll all come fleeing back now because... Oh, well, they'll never come back in Scotland. Yeah, no, it'll come back out of necessity because otherwise the Nationalists are going nowhere because no, the, Labour's a spent listen, force. Listen, Salmon run, Salmon's running rings range at the moment. Well, oh, I know, just as a politician, but that's nothing to do with actual power. That's just to do with enjoying himself. It's honeymoon period. He's a no, first class. He's a first class politician, and he's running rings round Gordon Brown. No problem, right? Runs rings, runs ring round the Tories as well. No, not running rings round the Tories. Salmon needs the Tories. Listen, we'll see the next election for the Scottish Parliament. You'll find that that will be that will be split into two parties. Just listen oh, to me okay. here, right? Okay. And your parties will be the Tories and the Nationalists, the Conservative and Unionist Party and the Scottish National Party. So in other words, people will be voting on whether to go independent or to remain as part of the Union. Can I so, say something? Most of, them of course you can. Young generation nowadays want to be independent from... No, 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 no. That's that's yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, what's yeah, yeah. auto suggested to them. They don't want that because they haven't seen the alternative. If you put a strong conservative alternative in Scotland and you said, "Do you want to be part of Britain, see the big picture, or do you want to be floating away on your own and your Todd?" Well, what, but who brought the, the poll tax to Scotland? So let's look at this. No, 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 no. The poll tax was not. national. It was only tried out in Scotland. It was national, oh. and a lot of people well, right the, the Scot. The Scots didn't like the poll tax because it was too fair for them. The no, Scots no, liked no. to be divided. No, the, Tories, the English Tories thought we were the Tories. No, no, it wasn't the English Tories. It was I the Tories. It. it was the Nationalists. They're not English Tories. It's the Nationalists. Tory parties and English parties. No, rubbish. Scottish yeah. Conservative and Unionist Party were huge. Do you remember but, Michael Noble? Do you remember George Younger? Well, huge. See, the, absolutely. The Liberal Democrat, the Libs. Absolutely massive. Yeah, well, hey, listen, do, you remember, do you remember Mrs Thatcher coming to the conference in Perth? She actually waved to me, you know. 
She, she was up there. It was huge. Scotland was absolutely awash with conservatism. Alec Douglas Hume, Harold Macmillan, and it will be again. Oh, Anthony, again. Anthony Eden, Good. Malcolm, you know, all, all these people, Malcolm Rifkind, all these people, it'll all be awash with conservatism again, and that That's will be the choice. My friend. my friend, I'm telling you. You trust, Malcolm, you trust you're McClue. Malcolm, kid. You're talking to Malcolm Rifkin. You, you, right? Listen, Edinburgh Pentlands, right? Malcolm, you're Lord, Lord James Douglas right Hamilton, Wester Hills, you see? Fantastic stuff. Oh. Lord, Lord Gould. Can I say, well, let me see what I've got. Yeah, Lord Younger. You know, I mean, tremendous, you know? Great, Good great stuff. Young, Younger Zavala. These were the people that built Scotland. Malcolm, uh, well, Alec, say, Alec you, Douglas you, Hume you, from the Borders. You, Fantastic. It comes to, I know where it comes to, because my, my family's to the borders. Fantastic. Mac Macmillan's from Aaron originally, the publishers, you know, terrific people. Well, you're talking about Malcolm Rifkin. My friend's father was his election agent, Don Mias. Yeah, absolutely. I remember, yes, but, but all that aside, the point is that just, the, just, the just, Labour Party is a spent it, force in Scotland no. and independence, right? Would, would, you know, they're going to need backup, and the backup will come from the Tories. No. Can I, well, I'll tell you, so why is Annabel Goldie running to London with the, the Lib Dems, uh, Nicol Stevens, and Wen, Wendy Alexander, down to London? Listen, Well, they're all, they're all going to, to, to say, they, they know that the power is in Westminster, no, and that they're, they're going to see the boss. Eh? Westminster, see through time. This country will go away, break away from the UK. We will be a, a republic like yeah, but, but Yeah, but... No, no, never a republic. This is what you must get out... You, Willie, you must get out the habit of this. If we become an independent Scotland, we will never, ever be republic. We will always, hopefully, be under the crown. No, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, 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 because the Queen, the Queen that. is the Queen of Great Britain, which covers Scotland, England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Listen, like the Australians, shortly, they'll be going... Never around. mind the Australians, the Australians know what side their bread is buttered on. No, they've, got, they've got a lefty guy in at the moment, just because it's time for that. That'll be short-lived. I'll tell you something. So don't, don't kid yourself, well, Willie. And we're living in a fantasy world. Think you're, that, you're, that, living, you're living in a fantasy world if you think that we're right. heading for a republic. And why would you want a republic anyway? Because they're unstable. Because I'm... No, a republic is not a republic. No, a republic, a republic does not have a proper head of state non-elected. America is a republic. Canada's yeah, but these people are very, these people are very, very envious of us. They wish they had a monarchy. Remember that the Queen, uh, Queen Victoria, eh, not Queen Victoria, um, King King George the First was the King of America. I did you see what the Americans done to you? The Boston Tea Party kicked his way out. Yeah, well, that shouldn't have been allowed. You see, we should have won that War of Independence. And uh, that's what's going to be happening in Scotland. Uh, no, Scotland. that'll not be happening in Scotland because nobody wants it. You're the only one man out of five million who wants it. Uh, one no, no. man. Uh, one man, Willie. And well, I'll tell you, remember the declaration of our broth as long as a few of us remain alive. Listen. Yes, you. there you I'm go. There's your history lesson for you now, Willie. People like the Duke of Hamilton and them signed away Scotland's rights uh, down in London and without giving the people the choice. And what's happening now, the people have made a choice. We've got a Scottish Parliament and we've got to rule... Yeah, we've got, a Scot we've got a Scottish yeah. Parliament because that is the home of devolved power. But we will uh, never, ever, ever, the Scots will never give up the crown because we put the crown there in the first place. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Who was your, who was your first man? Jamie Stewart, a Scot. James, James the Sixth of son. Scotland. Eh? It was this nephew of Elizabeth the First, Mary Queen of Scots' son. Lord yes, Sam there son. you are now. There's a Scottish name for you, Jamie Stewart. So we put it there. Don't you sell that right away. That's our birthright. We well, are the fathers of the of the crown. And that all we are we are the fathers of the union. And we don't want, we don't want we people like yourself chipping away at our proper institution. Well, we're doing it now. We've got a parliament, haven't we? Well, and we've got a parliament. We need to, that parliament should open with God save the Queen and should close with God save the Queen. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Yes, 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 Willie. And I'll tell you, unless it does that, your nationals will be history very, very quickly. Wait 
to the Lion Rampant's final over. The Scott. Lion Rampant is there because the Lion Rampant, the Lion and the Unicorn fighting. No, the lion, what are the lion. lion and the Unicorn fighting for? The Lion. They're fighting for the crown. I just got support for the coup for long enough. There you are, not nearly long enough. Another 2,000 years you and I can have this discussion, Willie. Then no, we listen. might look at something different. Listen, the, the, the tide is moving now. No, and the tide is moving. That is fine. Devolved power, fine, but under the crown. You split, you can split the parliaments, but you never ever split the crown. The Republic will come, my friend. No, that would be the worst thing that happened to this country, because I'll tell you, if the Republic comes, there will be one person living in this country, and that's you. Well, I'll you'll be, be on your, to do that. You'll be on your Todd, Willie, and you'll starve to death, a lonely old man, because you voted the wrong way. Oh, I voted the right way, and I'll always vote the right way. You got it wrong, Willie. There you go, and you're still getting it wrong. And you listen to McClue, because McClue knows best. McClue. Listen, McClue. McClue knows best. See people, see people like yourself. Yes, like you. always remember, McClue right. knows best. Look, let me see what I'm going to say. Go on, Willie. You run between the ears, and actually had on the ears. If the two neurons that collide, and maybe I get a sparky intelligence from them. What's that? If your two neurons inside your head, no hope. Oh, <laughs> don't yeah. try that nonsense, Willie. Remember, I've taught you all you know. Oh, you've never taught me anything. I've taught friend. you all you know. Tonight has been a learning curve for you, no. and you're going away a wiser man than you were ten minutes ago. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. Listen, I'm a lot wiser than you, my friend. Ah, that'll be the day. Why are you coming out with tripe if you're wise? Wise men do not talk gobbledygook like you've talked tonight. Listen, my clue, you've never seen your nose. You can no scratch your nose for ten years because your head's been up your ass. So long. Aye, there you go. You're, you're lowering yourself to insults now because you know I've got you on the ropes, laddie. Backside. You're going to be with your head up your backside. You've lost your argument, laddie. You're having to resort to insults now because I've spoken the truth and you've told oh. a lie. No, listen. You've listen. told a lie, Willie. I've not told a lie. You're, you're a shocker. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm not ashamed of my, I'm a good Scot. No, you're not a good Scot. You're a you traitor to Scotland. McClure, you're you're a treason to the crown. You've been quite happy to give it out, but you can't take it, Ah, you can't take it, because I've spoken the truth, and no, you don't, don't like don't the know. truth. The truth hurts, Willie, and there you are. And I'm not the only one. There's another five million people will back me. I back you. They'll be putting you out of the border. Aye, that'll be the day. That'll be the day. They'll be, they'll be voting me in, in oh. charge of a Conservative nationalist government under the crown. Never happened. And, and the Scott. first thing we'll do is have you shipped to the Tower of London and left good. there. Good, good. Yes, yeah, you enjoy yourself down there. And when the ravens leave, that's it. Your time's up, Willie. Your bones will be picked by the ravens, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> you really do make me laugh. I thought people like you were all the way now. No. <laughs> I no. thought you all got transported to Australia. Listen, you'll be stuck aside the rest of the Edinburgh. Listen, if you're, so, if you're so keen in a republic, why are you not living in Australia? Why are you not living in Russia? Because I'm a Scot. Ah, yeah, you're a Scot. You're a shocker. You, you should be ashamed to call yourself a Scotsman. No way, you I bet you've got a big pair of fluffy knickers under your kilt. <laughs> <laughs> That's the level you're at, my friend. Welcome to the house of Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo. The Scotty McClue Madhouse. 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 